If your swimming pool came with one of those, which is called in-floor cleaning system, caretaker or whatever you call it, you are supposed to winterize it for the winter, which is not easy. And that's why I will show you how to do it properly. So this is what we have. This one is your in-floor cleaning system. And this right here, it's your regular skimmer. I do believe that this is one of the hardest things to winterize. So I went ahead and marked the entire body and the walls of the in-floor cleaner with the marker. I hope you can read this to make it much easier because it's that complicated. It's not a rocket science, but it's an easy spot to make a lot of mistakes. So that's what it is. To winterize it, we got to remove everything that is in here. The basket got to go. This in-floor cleaning system is connected to this skimmer. It's also connected to the floor drain at the very bottom of the pool. And it's also connected to your pump. And there's also an equalizer line with plug number eight. This is a rubber expendable size eight plug. I will plug up the equalizer line that is connected from the side of the pool. All right, let me show you. It's a line that allows the water from the pool to go right into the, um, this bucket right here. So plug number eight, I'm gonna plug this first. And let's move on to the step number two. As you can see, this is full of water, so we need to vacuum it out. And I'm going to use my regular shop vac or wet vac, whatever you name it, to vacuum the water from in there. The next thing we are going to do, I mark this as hole at the bottom, is pump suction. This, this hole right there, it's connected to the front of your pump, which is the suction side of the pump. And since I do own this three horsepower blower, which it is more powerful than the regular vacuum, I'm going to screw this in at the very bottom. Um, what you can also do, which some people uh, like to do it, you buy the same fitting, with maybe a three feet long pipe, you screw this at the bottom, right? Then you have the pipe that sticks up out up here, and then you attach your blower or your vacuum right here, and you don't have to be down deep in the bucket and trying to reach two feet down. But uh, I'm okay with that, so I'm going just to uh, attach this at the bottom. Before we start blowing, let's do something at the pump and the filter. Let me show you. So this is just the way I do it. You may want to do it differently, but what I do is, this pipe right here, it's the pipe that is connected to the bottom of the uh, caretaker or the in-floor cleaner, right? So we are ho hooked up right to this pipe. What I like to do is this. Remove the lid. Remove and clean the pump basket, obviously. This particular pump has two drain plugs at the bottom. Two drain plugs are out. They're just temporarily out, but they're out. I'm going to put them right here. And I also like to remove the drain plug from the filter. It's right there at the very bottom. Uh, it tends to be hard to remove sometimes. Okay, here's the plug. The water is draining out. All right, let's go back to our air blower and let's blow out the first part of this uh, contraption. All right, next thing, we can winterize the skimmer. That's really easy. Remove the basket. There's still water, so let's vacuum this water out. So just so you understand how the skimmer is connected to this, so the hole right here on the side where it says two skimmer bottom, you see that? That hole right there, it's connected 
to this bottom. So what we can do is literally stick our shop vac right there and start vacuuming. And look. You see that? You can also do this if you wanted to. See, so I stick the vacuum here and now it's sucking like crazy right from the bottom. There's 100% no water. So I know for a fact that this is done. This, this skimmer is 100% winterized. What I like to do is I take plug number 11 or you can take number 12 and plug it right there. And for the skimmer, I use plug number 12. And yes, you can, if you wanted to, pour some antifreeze right below that plug. But I know there's zero water, none whatsoever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this. Close the bottle. Throw it in there. Put the lid back on. Skimmer is done 100%. Here is a plug called either blow plug, perch plug, blow through plug, whatever you call it where you live. You must have this type of plug. There's no other way. Once you purchase plug like this, and I believe this one is size 12, this particular plug goes right there you see blow plug floor drain this side hole it's connected to the bottom of your pool the main drain so let's install this perch plug blow plug whatever you call it again and blow it out press it nice and hard this plug gotta go in nice and uh, push it in as much as you can before you tighten it up you will need air compressor, 100%, and you will need one of those fittings, like for your car tire, it's a must. It's needed for the uh, blow plug. So let's turn it on and blow that plug out. All right. Main drain or floor drain is done, winterized 100%. Let's, let's move on, on to the next thing. So what I like to do next, I reinstall two drain plugs for the pump. I put them back in and I reinstall drain plug for the filter. You have to put the pump lid back on. That's a must. All right, let's go back to blowing. This is the very last time we have to use this blower. We are still hooked up to the very bottom of this um, skimmer, let's call it. Now I'm going to blow it and all the water should get pushed from here through the pump, through the filter, through the heater, through the little black mushroom head. Let's call this a black mushroom head, okay? And then some of the water is gonna spit out from the walls, maybe from the floor. And um, let's do this first, and then I will show you what's the next step, okay? I'm officially done with blowing air through this skimmer, so I'm going to unhook it. I can put antifreeze in here and be done with the skimmer and the leaf trap, 100%. So let's remove this. Just to show you, this is what it looks like. We have blown water through this plug, right? We plugged up this hole right there, which is on this side of the pool. That's done. We have put in a plug right here, which led us to the bottom of the skimmer. And the only thing left, it's literally this one at the bottom. So no, this is not the easiest plug to install. I am 5'11 and with average length arms, and I can barely reach the bottom of the skimmer. 
I put in plug number 11, which fits, but number 12 would be better. Reinstall this. Okay. And your regular skimmer lid. And this is done. Let's move on to the mushroom head. All right, if you have one of those valves, make sure this valve is open, which this one is. First things first, we need to remove this stainless steel clamp. My bolt, it's 716. I don't know what bolt you have. This is not probably original, but that's what I have. And voila, here is the whole gear. Again, not a fan of it. For those of you that have it and love it, well, great. I don't. Now we need to winterize this. All right, so let's move on to the next step. You will need those type of plugs again, those blow plugs. How many? It kind of varies on your system, how many holes you have and all of that. But you will need, let's say, five, six of those plugs. Okay, blow through plugs. And some of you should install them right away into each of those holes, okay, nice and tight. And blow them with the air compressor. But I'm, I am in a little bit different position today because I drained the water quite nice and low and yes we do drain water out of the pool in DC suburbs and DC roughly a foot below the skimmer I've seen some videos where you guys claim you leave the pool full of water I don't know where you live we do not do that in Maryland Virginia DC we always lower the water in the pool no exceptions so because I have the water so much lowered uh, below the, um, the outlets Actually, I can use either my shop vac in the blowing mode or I can use my leaf blower, not leaf blower. I can, uh, I can use my air blower and I can blow some of those holes first with my vacuum, let's say. And um, literally blow the water from the, from the jets in the wall and I don't have to use the air compressor and I will use only air compressor to blow all the uh, in-floor cleaning devices, okay? For that, I do need air compressor. So for now, let's use, let's use my three horsepower blower and blow some of those out. So I'll just try a few of the holes with my um, blower. Let's see what's gonna spit water on the pool side. And, uh, and this obviously blows way better than air compressor because it pushes high, high volume of air at relatively low pressure. So let's see. Once you install all the plugs, nice and tight. Sometimes you need to use a tool actually. Some systems have different plugs and those plugs are not round. They are more like square looking. Um, so if that's what you need, you need to have those. Once you blow all of them out, well, you're done. You can cover it up and um, you successfully winterized your in-floor cleaning system. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.